You know, despite having elements that people might find alienating, this one still managed to drive itself all the way to the Oscars. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a film I am a little late to discuss, Drive My Car. Before we begin, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this movie were, if you already saw it, or if you were planning on seeing it, and make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like these reviews, as it helps me out immensely by getting my content out there. And if you're new here, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with reviews of new releases, older films, hidden gems, and so much more on a near daily basis. But let's not waste any more time and let's talk about Drive My Car. This focuses on Yusuke, a renowned stage actor and director. After his wife's unexpected death, he receives an offer to direct a production of Uncle Vanya in Hiroshima. There, he begins to face the haunting mysteries his wife left behind. This premiered at Cannes Film Festival in 2021 and was then given a limited theatrical release in November and slowly expanded over the coming months. It's written and directed by Ryosuke Hamaguchi and it's based on the short story of the same name, which is something kind of ironic given the fact that this is a three hour long movie. Though it's received nothing but widespread critical acclaim and resonated so well that not only did it manage to pick up a Best International Feature nomination at the Oscars, but even managed to pick up nominations for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted screenplay. And it's a film that, I gotta say, I was really impressed with, as this is normally not the sort of film that would work for me. A three-hour, restrained, dialogue-heavy film centered primarily around grief is not normally one I'd gravitate towards, and even if I were to check films like those out, normally they wouldn't do much for me. I usually just say they're like, okay. But I was shocked by how much this worked for me. I think part of it is due to the way it beautifully unpacks the way in which we approach our relationships. A lot of the film is reliant on monologue, that examine our psychology, especially in the way we navigate our relationships and the way in which we might find ourselves cut off from others at times. A lot of that is shaped in the general setup, with Yusuke, who feels closed off from others, being forced to have a chauffeur to drive him around, which was a condition by the theater company in exchange for him directing Uncle Vanya. And while he's reluctant in his acceptance of this condition, the car and his driver Misaki act as something of a safe haven where he can express what he feels he can't say when he's out and about. The conversations between the two wind up being therapeutic, though without delving into the territory we see in melodramatic films where characters flatly recount what they're thinking to an actual therapist character without much substance otherwise. Both characters felt layered and three-dimensional, with a genuine bond forming between the two that, no pun intended, drives the film's emotional core. The performances of both Hidedoshi Nishima and Toko Mura, who play Yusuke and Misaki respectively, are both fantastic, and the conversations between the two are absorbing and relatable. And it's incredible how the film can be a slow burn yet engaging at the same time. With the film centered on a theater production, that does translate a little into the conversations in general where it can feel a little stagey in its presentation, but most of the monologues felt so relatable and absorbing. And while a lot of it is centered around grief, it didn't feel depressing or somber just for the sake of it. Hamaguchi doesn't look to endlessly just beat the audience down, especially since there were surprisingly more lighthearted moments than you think there would be, primarily in the sequences centered on the production of Uncle Vanya. The production doesn't go the smooth this, especially with its lead actor experiencing some erratic behavior, but there was an inherent quirkiness to these sequences that didn't feel too tonally jarring from the rest of the film's heavier subject matter. It would help cut some of the tension, and as someone who loves stories centered on the entertainment industry, I found these sequences, which we repeatedly circle back to, to be wonderful to watch. I just say that, my one big criticism of the film, which will probably be that for a number of people as well, is the length. I don't know if this needed to be a three hour movie. It's worth noting that the opening credits don't even appear to like an hour into the film. And considering the subject matter we explore in conjunction with the length, I can guarantee you that this won't be for everyone, which actually made it pleasantly surprising to me that this broke into the best picture category, as I figured it would be much more of a niche film. But for the most part, while I didn't feel the length of the film, there were several sequences here and there where that was the case. Maybe some sequences could have been condensed together, and I think this could have even been a side solid two to two and a half hour film and it would have been even better. But even with its slow burn approach and its heavy subject matter, the entire film doesn't feel like a drag. It's still for the most part a very engrossing and relatable watch that managed to exceed my expectations greatly and I can see why it got the acclaim it got.
Drive My Car is the sort of film that shouldn't have worked for me, but really managed to be a pleasant surprise. Despite a three hour runtime, a dialogue heavy format, and subject matter revolving around grief, it's really engaging for the way in which the characters felt so relatable, and the conversations and monologues didn't feel like they alienated the audience. It's powerfully acted and tenderly directed, and while it might not be for everyone, I do think it's at least worth exploring, even if you aren't into these sort of films, because you may wind up getting something out of this. Drive My Car gets an 8 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Drive My Car or are you planning to see it? And what were your thoughts? Was this your favorite of the Best Picture nominees? Are you looking forward to more from Ryosuke Hamaguchi? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.